Hello guys, welcome back to our course, the amazing course that will cover a complete construction of a bridge from A to Z. And today lectures, we are going to talk about the BizLine, one of the important topic in Primavera or PMP or project management is BizLine. What is your BizLine? So before you create your BizLine, you have to agree on the schedules, review with your team, getting agreed by the client, okay? So, here is Ali Hindawi, Project Control Directors from USCA, and we're going to share with you guys all my experience that uh, I have done in many countries, USA, Europe, and Middle East for more than 25 years. We'll have an exam by, in the end of the course. If you are missing any material, you need anything, just drop me a question. So, the baseline or target schedule provide a point of reference, as you can see here in the screen, point of reference, on which you're going to measure your uh, cost, your schedules, and your performance against it, okay? How to assign a biz line to your schedule? We'll show you guys this uh, in a minute uh, in a live uh, software, okay? So before you update your schedule, please take a copy from your uh, schedule, call it a biz line plan, and this is going to be your reference that you will measure all your performance against that, okay? So let us jump to Primavera P6, show you guys how to do these tricks and stay tuned with us. Very amazing course. So let's go. Here, guys, we have created the bridge uh, schedules. We created the WBS starting from milestone, procurement, footing, and column, and superstructure and finishing. Okay. And the following lectures, we're going to uh, add the durations after identifying the quantities and the resources. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, how to create a biz line? You can see guys here, project, and then you have two tabs, assign a biz line, maintain a biz line. So maintain a biz line means you have to add a biz line here. Okay, how can I do that? You see this plus sign, add, and you will have two options here, save a copy of this project as a new biz line. Or if you have another project or another schedule, you can convert it here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a copy from this schedule as a baseline. And you can see, guys, here the program named it A1-B1 means the baseline one. Okay. And you can assign here what kind of baseline is this. You can assign mini baseline. It is the customer sign off, what you submitted to the client and approved. Or it is your initial planning. Okay. Management sign off. Some companies, they have a schedule with a client and internal schedule they are using to follow up your progress and you can call it management sign off or mid project term or what if analysis whatever you can choose what type of the schedule okay you do this that's fine go back and then assign a baseline okay primavera allow you guys to assign mini baseline you have project baseline and you can use another, by the way, primary baseline, secondary baseline, tertiary baseline. You can create many, many baseline. But for us today, I'm gonna add this baseline here, okay? And I will make okay. You can see, guys, okay, we have maintained the baseline and then assigned the baseline. How to show the baseline dates? Go to column, right click here, column, and then you will go to dates and you can choose what date you would like to show i would choose baseline start okay and then also baseline project finish so now you have your dates okay start and finish and you have the baseline start and finish i hope you like this lecture guys we're going to measure the variances we're going to show all the tips earn it value once we start adding the durations resources and finalizing the schedules thanks so much see you guys in the next lectures stay tuned and have a great day